I'm Hannah Bryson. I'm a junior. I'm on the Wilmington wrestling team. Outside of wrestling, I do like Muay Thai, I do Krav Maga, and I do Jiu Jitsu. I run, I do cross country in the fall, and I do track in the spring. I run the two mile on track, and I also do 400 hurdles. And then I also write, I do a lot of writing, like creative writing. My freshman year, I was doing indoor track, and I remember we finished our run and we were sitting on the upstairs track, stretching, and I looked down and the wrestlers had set up like the mats downstairs, and I was watching them practice and I was like, I really wish I was down there right now. Like, that looks like fun. <laughs> it was in the middle of cross country season and I was trying to make my decision. All my friends wanted me to stay with track and my coach wanted me to stay with track and I was like, I was very conflicted. So I had talked to Coach Riley and shown a little bit of interest. And one day I was sitting in W2 and Julian comes in. He's like, oh, Hannah, I heard you were interested in wrestling. Like, I heard this rumor that you want to join and I just asked her, I tried to convince her to join and she did. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Like, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> I think that it was important to have a female that was interested in the sport join because it shows other girls that if they want to, they don't have to like be judged for it, they can also join. My rookie year wrestling was like definitely better than I ever could have imagined. I had no clue what I was going into. I was like, you know what, this sounds interesting, I want, I want to try it, you know? After the first practice, I was pretty confident that I was going to like it. I wasn't sure if I was going to be good at it, and I ended up, like, during the season, I dropped, like, every else, everything else I was doing just so I could focus on it. Hannah's very dedicated. She works hard. She loves to learn. She wants to get better and be coached. She works hard every day. She'll come through practice. She outruns all of us right before practice when we do a run in the beginning. There, there's not many practices where she didn't lap me at least once. And as a wrestler, she is very hardworking. She, she has a history in jiu-jitsu, so I kind of knew that would translate over to wrestling. I've been doing jiu-jitsu for seven years now. I started out with taking this class, it was like a Krav Maga, like Muay Thai mix, because my dad's, one of his friends like opened up a school and he was teaching martial arts. And he was like, oh, do you want to try? And I was like, yeah, sure. And then they were talking about jiu-jitsu one day. And I was like, what's jiu-jitsu? Like, that, that's, that's a weird name, like, what's that? And I was like, could I try it? And they were like, well, the class is kind of only for adults, but like you could try a few classes and I ended up loving it and they ended up loving me and <laughs> kind of stuck around for the rest of my life. She definitely runs a lot of legs, which I know is big in jujitsu. Her game when she's on the mat, like not standing up is incredible. And that obviously is 100% correlated from jujitsu. It's obviously helped her a lot. I think jujitsu has definitely helped me with like understanding technique. I'm the youngest in the class, so like, I work with all adults and they're all much bigger than me. So I always have had to focus on technique. Like I can't use strength. And I think that's really translated into wrestling. Because even if it's by weight class, I'm, always, I'm usually up against boys and they're usually stronger than me. So I don't really think that there has been a difference, especially like at that level. It's, I don't really view like boys or girls. It's not really viewed differently. It's kind of just like my opponent, someone I have to beat. I didn't know how well she was going to do, but once she started winning and as her confidence got higher going into more matches, it was surprising to see how well she was doing. I wrestled in sectionals. I was, I was actually the only girl who wrestled in our section, which I was kind of used to that during the season. There wasn't usually a lot of girls at the tournaments, so I won my first match against a kid that I beat during the regular season. And then in that same match, I got knee in the face. I got a black eye. And I think, I, think that kinda, I think that kinda messed up my head a little bit. I wasn't as focused th through the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a good day though. So I went to Girls All States. Walking in there was just, it was very intimidating because there were so many people, it was so crowded. I was seated third, but I really didn't know what I was getting myself into. So a lot of the girls like in my bracket I hadn't really heard of before. I didn't really know who they were. So I was like, am I really like in the right place right now?
seated, I came in third, so. All like, everything's always so much fun with like the boys and stuff. I mean, they always make everything entertaining. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I really liked like being at the tournaments with them. When I wrestled at my Phillips Academy tournament, it was so amazing. I remember we like we were like doing like a warm up and stuff, and I look up and like a bunch of my team is like sitting in the stands, like to, like watch and cheer me on. And I was like, I really wasn't like expecting anyone to show up, mm -hmm. and it was so awesome to see them all there to support me. She's a good teammate. She's she's a little quiet, but overall she 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 participates in the team fun and she, overall good energy. She's just. Super supportive, always there. You need help with anything, she's there to help you. She uh, always, you lose a match, she helps pick you up, you know, just great teammate. My favorite practice story would be about Hannah would probably be um, every day when she would drill with Mason, just constant pain she'd put him in. Oh, it's it was true. nice. That's mine. It was nice to see. <laughs> uh, can, I, can I ask, can I say that? <laughs> One of my f favorite memories by far is Every day I practice watching Hannah and Mason drill, especially when I was hurt. I would just sit on the bike watching them. I was watching Hannah just mix Mason at every single practice, put him in pinning combination after pinning combination. You know, and I love Mason. It's only going to make him better, but it's a great practice memory of just watching them, watch them drill with one another. It will probably teach me a lot of like, like how to be committed. When I joined wrestling, like I was like, you know what, I can keep up with like, like my teaching and my running and stuff. And then after the first week of practices, I was like, no, I just need to focus on wrestling. And then I ended up deciding to cut from 132 to 126 a couple weeks into the season. And so I, I me and my mom would sit there on like Saturday nights and we'd plan out our meals for the entire week and we'd go shopping so I could keep like my weight down. I think I've definitely learned how to lose. I was coming off of like cross country, I was like all conference, I was doing very well, and I was joining this entirely new sport that I had no clue of anything about. And so, I mean, I won a few matches, but I also lost pretty much just as many matches as I won. <laughs> so that was something I had to learn was not to get like too upset about that and to just learn from that experience. I'm gonna go to college, I'm trying to decide. I definitely, I want to uh, major in creative writing. I don't know what I want to do athletically yet. I've been like considering wrestling actually. So like, this past week, uh, without having wrestling, I texted my parents yesterday afternoon. I was like, you know what, I think I want to wrestle in college. Like life is just so boring without wrestling.